All right, so I'm gonna be ranking stuff from one to five today. Bring it on, let's go. Rank these household pets. Household pets, okay. I wanna figure out how I wanna rank these. Like, should I rank them based on like how much love that you receive as a child and how much they affect you or how much trauma you get when they die? Because all of these, all of these will give you, I mean like, I feel like every neurotic person who has trauma that you've ever met has had a hamster that has died in a traumatic way, right? Have you guys had a hamster that's died in a traumatic way? I had a hamster that got out of its cage. It went into our oven, into our oven. And we didn't, well, I didn't turn on the oven. I, this isn't a story about me cooking a hamster, okay? I couldn't find the hamster until we started to smell something from the oven. And lo and behold, we take everything apart. The hamster is there like this. Horrifying hamster, number one. So, okay, so we're going off of trauma. So my own personal trauma, I would have to put dogs at number two. Um, the last time I had a dog, I will never forget. This is actually a very sad story. This is like very cathartic. I'm like, you know, like I'm usually very silly, but the last time I had a dog, um, my dog got stomach cancer and then we had to put him down on the 4th of July. And so every time the 4th of July comes around, I get really sad. And it was one of those things where it was like a Marley and me moment where like they put the dog down and I was right next to the dog. So very, very traumatizing. So number two, so I'm gonna put rabbits at number three. I used to have a rabbit in middle school and not too much different from it is like, not too much different than my situation now. It was my best friend. Look, I don't have that many friends in general that don't have four legs. This rabbit was my best friend in middle school. Um, I would come home, it would run around me. Um, it was one of those rabbits where you didn't put it in a cage, but they would run around the house and you would potty train them. I would go to sleep and the rabbit would sleep on my chest. It was so cute. Um, I put it at number three based on trauma because one day I came home and my mom's ex, who was high, had killed my rabbit had stabbed it with a screwdriver. Um, I'm gonna put cats at number four, just because I'm allergic to cats and, and they're traumatizing in their own right. Um, I feel like people have had very traumatizing um, events with cats, so I don't have one personally, but if you have a traumatizing event, put it in the comments down below. We would love to hear about your traumatizing event with a cat at some point. And number five, we're gonna put fish because I've never been sad about a fish dying. You know what, shrimp will go to number five. <laughs> um, for a couple reasons. One, because shrimp is, is really easy to obtain. Um, you know, sometimes shrimp can make you sick. And two, uh, or three, shrimping is a term that's used for sucking toes. Therefore, number five. Okay, number four, number four, we're gonna put mussels. Now on a man, mussels would be number one, but for shellfish, mussels are gonna be number four um, because I've seen, um, what's that girl's name? The Barefoot Contessa. I've seen her cook with these, and for some reason, I don't know, she doesn't scream luxury to me. She doesn't have shoes on, so she's four. Okay, number three, I'm gonna have to put oysters. Did you guys hear that story about that girl that went on the date and she had the 40, she had 48 oysters and she was like <laughs> Who has 48 oysters on the first date? That's why it's three. Okay, number two. Number two is gonna be, you know what? It's gonna be a surprise to you. Number two is lobster. Number two is lobster. Okay, and number one, we got snow crabs, okay? And no one can suck down snow crab legs faster than me. Season one queens. Okay, who do we have here? We have Tammy Brown. I'm gonna spin your head round and round. We have Pork Chop. We have uh, Bibi Zahara Benet. That was supposed to be me doing a British accent, it did not work. 
Um, next one is Jade Sotomayor. Yeah, I got it. That's Jade. Okay, work. And the last one is Vagina. And I know her name is Angina. But I just like calling her Vagina because she's a huge I'm just, she's not a huge She's small. So she's just a little bit of Okay, anyways. So let's go ahead and start ranking these girls. Um, I would say number five, just because I, you know what? I'm not a big fan of the color green, so I'm gonna put Jade at number five. Jade has never been my favorite color. Nothing against you, Jade. I'm just gonna put you at number five. Um, number four, I'm gonna have to put Bibi Zahara Binet. And, and I'll tell you why I'm gonna put Bibi Zahara Binet at number four. Because I guarantee you, if anyone was watching this video with Bibi Zahara Binet, she would have been like, why number four? At least number three. I swear, I swear she will, if you're watching it with her right now, record her. Okay, number three, we're gonna put, um, let's put on Gina. Let's put on Gina. Um, I'm gonna put her in the middle because I feel like she'd be good in the middle of like a, like a three way. Just like sandwiched right in the middle. I feel like she's a, just like, just a hole. And I love that for her. Okay, number two, I'm gonna put Tammy Brown. Because when I think of Tammy, I think of number two. And we got our girl Pork Chop. She's number one. Pork Chop is number one. Pork Chop's always gonna be number one, season one. Hello, hello. She's always gonna be number one. Pork Chop number one. K-pop groups, I'm ready to get canceled. I'm going to put someone's group at the bottom, okay? So just, let's just get that out of the way. Number five, I'm gonna put Blackpink. And I'm gonna put Blackpink at number five because some of their songs sound like it's like too like like do you know what I mean like I know something about Blackpink's music isn't necessarily my favorite I know that they're really mainstream they're really popular for a reason but they're just they're not really my sound they're not really my sound I do love when they perform though and they're not in sync. I do love that though. That's my favorite part. Um, okay, number one, I'm gonna put BTS because I'm scared of the fans here. Everyone else is gonna be fine wherever I put them. BTS fans, I am incredibly afraid of you. That's all I'm gonna say. Number two, I'm gonna put Girls' Generation. Hey, come on, Girls' Generation. I love Girls' Generation. They just had a comeback last year. They are, um, they are so influential to the girl group genre and I am such a girl group stan, like truthfully. I actually don't listen to any boy groups, but you see, I, BTS is number one, afraid of them. So number four, I'm gonna put Big Bang because again, I don't listen to boy, I guess I should have put Blackpink at number four. I know it's, I know I can change it, but let's leave it. Let's leave it. Yeah, let's leave it. Um, I'm gonna put Big Bang at number four because the last time I had a Big Bang was four years ago. And number three, we're gonna put 21. And uh, 21 is one of those groups where everyone has heard a song from them, um, they're iconic, but I put them in the middle because they are quintessential K-pop in the fact that, how the are you supposed to pronounce their name if you don't know what their name already is? Like, what is that? It's a two N E and then a one, right? Two N E one. But like, how are you supposed to backwards S N E? I can't read that. Okay, next is rank these male actors under five six, and we all love a short king. Do we? I do. I do like short men. I like short men because you can like throw them around, and also too, if they have, I feel like I'm being crude, but if they have big wieners, then it looks funny. You know, like the shorter the person is and the longer the wiener, the more it looks like another appendage. And then the more it looks like you're like some sort of a 
tripod of some sort. I don't know. That's where the term tripod comes from. We have Daniel Radcliffe. We have Elijah Wood. We have Michael J. Fox. We have Kevin Hart. And what is his name again? Dustin Hoffman? Is that Dustin Hoffman? That's the best picture of Dustin Hoffman that you guys got? That looks like someone's LinkedIn profile. Maybe he's on LinkedIn, you know? Okay, right off the bat, Kevin Hart's number five. Don't like Kevin Hart. I think he's super, super homophobic, right? So if, if number five had to be like erased off the face of the earth, like existence wise, like we would just forget completely that they ever existed, I would put Kevin Hart at number five because we can do without him. Um, number four, I'm gonna put Dustin Hoffman because of this photo. Because of this photo. I just thought, why did you choose this photo? Dustin could have been number one. Dustin had the potential to be number one, but he's number four. Because this was the first image that came up on Google search. Rest in peace, Dustin. He's not dead. No? Okay. I don't know, he looks like he's waving goodbye here. Number three, I'm gonna put Daniel Radcliffe specifically because of that. The person with the British accent in the room just gasped. That was the exact reaction I was going for. And I got you, okay? I got you. Um, I'm gonna put him right in the middle because Daniel Radcliffe seems to be like everyone's cup of tea. Um, he's cute, he's nice. I'm gonna put him at number three. Number two, I'm gonna put Michael J. Fox. I think Michael J. Fox is very charming. I love him in Back to the Future. Um, we also love a person who refuses to have sex with their relatives from the past. We love them. Um, and number one, we're gonna put Elijah Wood. Um, I love Elijah Wood. Also, um, I'm pretty sure Elijah Wood is the voice of Wirt in Over the Garden Wall, which is one of my favorite fall um, cartoons from Cartoon Network. So I'm gonna put him at number one. Um, I also love hobbits. I love hobbits. So if you're a hobbit out there. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, what were my number ones again? So we have snow crabs, pork chop, hamsters, BTS, and Elijah Wood. What do these things say about me? I think it's obvious and I think what it's trying to say to me is that I need insurance that's a higher tier so that I can finally get mental health services. I think that's what it is. I, it looks like I'm incredibly depressed. That's it. That's the one. I mean, I learned a lot of things on this journey through Ranked. Um, I learned that I'm really scared of K-pop fans. Um, I learned that I have some undealt issues with my past that I need to deal with regarding my household pets. And I also learned that pork chop is number one girl. Hey, come on pork chop. Thank you for watching and please make sure to like and subscribe to the PEG YouTube channel. Traumatic cat story in the bottom. I want to hear it. It's gonna be so sad. We love it. Oh my God, I can't believe she died like that. Okay. <laughs>